Christina Rajmangal and Martina McCarthy have their hands full. Their children, Zoe and Santino, are two energetic, happy and healthy toddlers. But they and their husbands would never have been able to experience the joys of parenthood if it weren't for the development of in vitro fertilization. I've got polycystic ovaries. Um, I, yeah, he, it was my only, yeah, it was my only chance of conceiving. If it wasn't for the treatment being available, he wouldn't be here. I think it's amazing that through this miracle of medical intervention, we were able to have a beautiful, healthy daughter. It all began with Louise Brown. She was conceived in a British laboratory in November 1977, after Robert Edwards, Patrick Steptoe and Jean Purdy spent nearly a decade trying to fertilize a human egg outside the body. Just shy of her 40th birthday, Louise is celebrated at London's Science Museum. She's the focus of an IVF exhibit, which features the very desiccator where her embryo was developed. It's just amazing how many children have been born through this process and how many lives and families is created and hope and joy. It's just, and I'm proud to be the first one. IVF may be commonplace now, but there was a lot of controversy when Louise Brown was born. Many religious leaders denounced the use of any kind of medical intervention, and other critics said IVF could pave the way for so-called Franken-babies. Louise's family received many letters of support, but they also received hate mail, including letters splattered with fake blood. Not only has the perception of IVF changed, so has the availability. It grew from one small clinic in the UK to a multi-billion dollar global industry. IVF has changed the landscape of human reproduction. It is talking about six million babies. I am a believer that it is much more because IVF technology has reached remote areas in the whole world and it's probably unlikely for us to get feedback of how many babies were born in these remote areas, so it's an underestimate. It's important to appreciate that currently predicted that by the end of the century there will have been 400 million babies resulted as I, from IVF worldwide. For Christina and Martina, that pioneering technology gave them families they would otherwise never have had. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera, London.